Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix error that is Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 is currently not available in your account and the error code is 0x803F8001. So if you are receiving this error code with Microsoft Flight Simulator game on your Windows computer, then please follow the steps shown in this video. So the first step is to log in with same account on Microsoft Store and with same account on Xbox app. So open Microsoft Store. On the top right here, you can see a profile icon. Click on it, then click on sign out. Click on sign in. Select the right account and then click on continue. Now enter the PIN or password over here. Now once logged in, open Xbox app. On the top left here, you can see a profile icon. Click on it. Click on sign out. Click on sign in. Sign in. And then select the same account which you have selected on Microsoft Store. So log in with same account and then click on Let's Play. Also make sure that date, time, time zone and reason is correct on your computer. So on the bottom right here you can see the date and time. Make a right click on date and time then click on adjust date and time. Now make sure set time automatically is on over here. In Windows 10 you will find set time zone automatically. Make sure that is also on. And in Windows 11 you can select the right time zone from here. Now click on sync now. Make sure that you click on sync now. And after this try to launch the game. Now also make sure the right region is selected. So make sure right country is selected over here. Now the next step is to run this PowerShell command. This command is provided in the video description. So copy this command. Type in PowerShell in Windows search box. Then make a right click on Windows PowerShell. Then click on run as administrator. Make sure that you are opening PowerShell as an administrator. Click on yes to allow. Now paste the command over here. Hit the enter key. Now this process will take some time. And during this process, you will receive some errors in red color. So if you see any errors in red color, just ignore it and let the process complete. Now once done, close this window. Now the next step is to delete Microsoft Store local cache file for this. Go to this location. So open File Explorer. Now go to this PC. Open C Drive. Now open Users folder. Now open your username folder. Now open app data folder. Now open the local folder. Now if you don't see the app data over here, then on the top over here you can see view. Select show and then put a check on hidden items. Now in Windows 10, somewhere over here you will find view. Click on view and then put a check on hidden items and then you should be able to see app data. Now open app data then open the local folder. Now open the packages folder, scroll down and find Microsoft Windows Store underscore some alphanumeric character. Open this folder. Now over here you will find local cache folder. Make a right click then click on delete. Now check. Now the next step is to repair and reset Xbox app, Microsoft Store or the game. So type in store in windows search box and then make a right click on microsoft store then click on app settings now scroll down here you can see the repair option so click on repair and after the repair try to launch the game still you are receiving the error message then click on reset reset and after the reset check now the next step is to do the same thing with xbox app so type in xbox app make a right click on xbox app again click on app settings and then again click on repair and after the repair check still you are receiving the error message then click on reset reset now the next step is to open Windows 10 settings or Windows 11 settings and then go to apps 
Now click on apps and features. Now over here you will find your game. So scroll down and find your game. So this is just an example. Whichever game is giving you the error message, search the game in the list. And for example, I'm selecting Minecraft launcher. So in Windows 10, simply click on the game and then you will see the advanced option. In Windows 11, click on this three dot, then click on advanced option. And then repair or reset. So perform repair. If that does not resolve the error message, then reset. And after that, launch the game. Now the next step is to update Xbox app or Microsoft store from store library. So open Microsoft store on your computer. Now on the bottom left here, you can see library options. So click on library and on the top right here, you can see get updates. So click on get updates. Once all the updates are installed, check for the error message. Still you are receiving the error message, then install Xbox identity provider and gaming services. So for this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. Now click on get. It will prompt you to open Microsoft Store. So click on open Microsoft Store. Now over here you can see Xbox Identity Provider. Now if this is not installed, you will see the install option. In my case, this is already installed. So install it. Now uninstall and reinstall gaming services for this co copy this command. This command is provided in the video description. Type in PowerShell in Windows search box. Make a right click on Windows PowerShell. Then click on run as administrator. Click on yes to allow. Now paste the command over here. Hit the enter key. Now once done, copy the second command. Paste it on the same window and then hit the enter key. This will open Microsoft Store and you will see the install option to install gaming services. So click on install. Click on yes to allow and let the download complete. Now the next step is to start all these services. So type in services in Windows search box and then click on services. Now find IP helper in the list. Make a double click on IP helper. Set it to automatic. Then click on apply. Click on start if highlighted. Then click on OK. Now find all the Xbox services. At the end here you can see all the Xbox services. Make a double click on each Xbox services. Make sure startup type is set to automatic. Click on apply. Click on start if highlighted. Then click on OK. Now find Xbox Live Authorization Manager. Make a double click, set it to automatic, click on apply, click on start, then click on OK. Again, automatic, apply, start, and then click on OK. Again, automatic, apply, start, OK. Now find Windows update, make a double click on Windows update, set it to automatic, apply, click on start, and then click on OK. Now find gaming services in the list. So over here you can see gaming services. Make sure gaming services are running. If not running, make a right click, then click on start. If it's already running, then stop it and then restart the service. So make a right click, then click on stop. And then again make a right click, then click on start. Now find Microsoft Store install service. Make a double click, set it to automatic. Click on apply, click on start if highlighted, then click on OK. Now check. Now still you are receiving the error message, then update Windows to the latest version. For this, go to the start menu, then click on settings. Now click on Windows update or update and security, then click on check for update. And once all the updates are installed, restart your computer and then check. Now the next step is to run WS reset command. So Type in WS reset in Windows search box and then click on WS reset run command. Now this will open this black screen. Do not close this black screen. This black screen will go away and it will open Microsoft Store. Now over here you can see the black screen is gone and it's opening Microsoft Store. Now the next step is to uninstall and reinstall Xbox app and Microsoft Store. So to uninstall Xbox app, type in Xbox app in Windows search box. Make a right click on Xbox app, then click on uninstall. Click on uninstall. 
Now, after the uninstall, uninstall Microsoft Store for this copy, this command, this command is provided in the video description. Type in PowerShell in Windows search box, make a right click on Windows PowerShell, then click on run as administrator. Click on yes to allow. Now paste the command. This will uninstall Microsoft Store from your computer. And once done, now restart your computer. Now after the system restart, again open PowerShell. And then make a right click, then click on run as administrator. Click on yes to allow. Now paste the second command. And then hit the enter key. This will reinstall Microsoft Store on your computer. Now, next step is to run inet cpl.cpl command. So type in inet cpl.cpl in Windows search box. And then click on inet cpl.cpl. Now go to the advanced tab. Scroll down. Make sure you use TLS 1.0, use TLS 1.1, 1.2, 1.3. All four are checked and then click on apply. Okay. Now the next step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to C drive or different drive. So if you have already installed the game to C drive, try installing the game to different drive. If the game is already installed to a different drive, then try installing it to C drive. For this, go to the start menu, then click on settings. Now click on system, then click on storage. Scroll down, click on advanced storage settings, and then click on where new content is saved. And then from here, you can select the drive. So if the game is already installed in C drive, you can select another drive and then try to reinstall the game. First of all, you have to go ahead and uninstall the game and then reinstall the game to a different drive. So if it is already installed to a different drive, then select C drive and then try to install the game. Now the next step is to rename WP system folder. Now to rename WP system folder, open file explorer on your computer, go to this PC open d drive now over here you can see wp system when you try to rename it you won't be able to rename it because you will receive some kind of error message that you are not allowed now so make a right click on wp system folder and then select properties go to the security tab we will go ahead and take the ownership of this folder so go to security tab and then click on advanced now click on change over here and then type in every one over here everyone and then click on check names then click on ok now put a check on the box which says replace owner on sub containers and objects and then click on apply ok 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 and then again make a right click on wp system folder select properties once again go to the security tab once again click on advanced once again now this time click on add over here and then click on select a principal now type in everyone once again and then check names ok now put a check on the box which says full control and then click on ok apply ok ok so now you can rename it make a right click then click on rename rename it as wp system dot old now still your face problem in that case you can go ahead and restart your computer and then try to rename it once again now if nothing is working the last step is to update windows to the latest version using media creation tool so if you have windows 10 copy this link if you have windows 11 copy this link if you have windows 10 copy this link if you have windows 11 copy this link windows 10 users go to this website here you can see media creation tool click on download tool now and then run this exe file then you will see the screen click on accept by default upgrade this pc now would be selected click on next it will start downloading Windows 10 along with the latest update. Now this process will take some time. Now once the download is complete, before the installation, you will see this screen which says ready to install. And by default, the option to keep personal files and app would be checked. When this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer. So click on install. And once the installation is complete, log into your computer. Now for Windows 11 users, go to this website. Here also you will find media creation tool. Click on download now. And then run this exe file. Click on yes to allow. Now this will load Windows 11 media creation tool. Now click on accept. 
by default windows 11 would be selected click on next select iso file then click on next you can save the location you can set the location as desktop and then click on save over here now once the download is complete click on finish and then go to desktop find windows iso file make a double click on windows iso file then run the setup file make a double click on setup file click on yes to allow this will load windows 11 now and here you can see install windows 11 click on next it will check for update then click on accept again it will check for update now before the installation you will see the screen which says ready to install and by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer click on install after the installation login to your computer so one of the steps should help you to get rid of this error so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel